This training video is for Tempest Gems and the Vermont Community Development Block Grant Coronavirus Grant Program, specifically for the phase for the sole proprietors. This grant program is sponsored by the Vermont Agency of Commerce and Community Development. The Vermont Community Development Block Grant, CDBG, is funded by the CARES Act. This phase of the grant is for sole proprietors. It is called the Sole Proprietor Stabilization Grant Program. In this training video, we're going to have three sections. We're going to talk about the eligibility for the program. We're going to discuss the grant flow slash life cycle. And then we'll take a quick look at the pre-application or registration process. To be eligible for this program, you must be a Vermont-based sole proprietor. So you can operate as a DBA doing business as, or you can be a single member LLC. You must not have any W-2 employees and the business owner must be above the age of 18. You must be able to demonstrate with paperwork and such what kind of economic harm you have had in 2020 and how that is likely tied to COVID. Additionally, you must not be involved in any of the following businesses. Cannabis related services, firearm sales, lobbying. Your business must not be a franchise or operate within a chain. And you must not be a consultant or a service provider with exactly one client. The life cycle for this grant program involves some preparation. First, you will need to apply for a DUNS number and Vermont ACCD and Storm Petrol have provided a video on how to do that. You will need to gather your tax returns for 2018 and 2019. If your tax returns for 2019 are not yet complete here in July of 2020, it is permissible to use your 2019 profit and loss and your 2019 balance sheet. In addition to the prior two years, uh, Tax returns, you will also need to prepare financial statements, profit and loss balance sheet for the first quarter of 2020. The second stage of the life cycle involves completing the pre-application. This is the video that will show you how to do that. And in a third video, we're going to show you how to complete the grant application. You will receive a notification and welcome email after a successful submission with the pre-application during the grant application process, you'll submit the formal grant application. There's a lottery process where the grant awards will be made. You will be notified of that if you are a winner. Following that process, you will accept a sub-grant agreement and then you will need to report the actual costs with proof of payments to the state of Vermont through Tempest Gems. You will then submit a reimbursement request and then you'll go through grant closeout. The documents that you will need throughout this process involve the following. For the DUNS number, you will need two official documents with your name and address on them, such as a lease, a bank statement, a utility bill, something along those lines. For the application, as mentioned, we want the 2018 tax return. Please, please do redact or black out your social security number. The 2019 tax return, again, please black out the SSN, the social security number. Leave the last four digits though, that's helpful. In lieu of the 2019 tax return if not ready, your profit and loss and balance sheet for 2019 is acceptable. Tempest Gems will provide you a family income statement. You will need to complete that and upload that back into Tempest Gems. And you will need cost estimates for the damages that you have um, encountered during 2020. After the grant award, if you're one of the um, recipients of the grant, you will need to provide invoices with proof of payment and you will need to have a signed subgrant agreement. Again, that is going to be provided by Tempest Gems. This grant program is governed by numerous federal laws, federal regulations, and rules. Any misrepresentation of your information or your documents may result in a criminal investigation of fraud. So just don't do that, please. Tempest Gems actively uses technology to prevent, detect, and deter fraud. Enough said.
The URL for the pre-application process is shown on your screen. It is also available at the Vermont Agency of Commerce and Community Development website. On the screen in front of me is the login for the CDBG CARES Act sole proprietor process. The username and password will be available at the ACCD website. And the version that you see may or may not have a Google reCAPTCHA on that to prevent some bad actors from gaining access. You'll copy and paste the username and password as you have it. That'll take you into the grant uh, pre-application. This is a very brief questionnaire asking you for your business name, your DUNS number, your NAICS codes, what county you're based in in Vermont, do you have any W-2 employees? The application includes help. Help can be found in the question mark inside the circle as shown here. This is a little help element for this item or you can go to the page help process which is in the upper right hand side. It describes the grant process and the fields that are required. Then you'll complete the pre-application with your physical and mailing address. And then if you need help with non-English language or you have ability differences, please indicate with a yes here. And the state of Vermont will provide you assistance with that process. When complete, hit the blue submit button. You'll be notified immediately by email with uh, a PDF version of your pre-application process and confirmation that your pre-application has been submitted. Grant administrators at the State of Vermont will review your pre-application, confirm your DUNS number and address. If everything is copacetic, you'll receive a welcome email with credentials for Tempest Gems, or you'll receive an email with other information. Thank you very much, and stay tuned for the video on the grant application process.